Last week we set sails from Germany. The wind was blowing good, so we wanted to go for a long push north. Let's see how this goes. So, I uh, was steering the last three or four hours and Marcus was sleeping. We have right now around about 11 o'clock. Um, so right now I have three hours of rest. At two hours I have my next shift. And yeah, I think I, I try to, to get some rest right now. It isn't, isn't even that cold outside, it's like 8 degrees, 10 degrees maybe, I think it's 8. It's just super windy and with the wind it's, it's kind of cold. It's really nice for the, the guy who takes over the shift if you prepare some tea. It is cold outside so it's... Wah. So that's just some, some nice thing to do. Actually, I'm gonna close the door here because I'm gonna put in here as well. So together will be as my Sends my bow to the sea. Marcus! Okay, time to go to sleep. So, wish me a pleasant night. It's super shaky here. Marcos is steering really hard, but really good. So, see you in three hours. sailing at night like it's finally going it's going good oh this was my light today is going great finally we're making huge progress we're having the wind from slightly behind we're making five to six knots on average. That's about our maximum speed with this ship. Yeah, we're going north finally. Oh yeah. Okay, it's three o'clock. Okay.
was going great. In three days of sailing through day and night, we made more than 300 nautical miles. Pretty good for an old lady, right? We didn't only get to Denmark, but almost to the most northern point of it. To take a rest, we landed only 12 nautical miles south of the northern tip of Denmark, next to the small island Hörsholm. Marcus, could you maybe give me the sun protection? It's like almost freezing. I don't want to get burned, man. Oh, yes, he turned things around. He showed me the way to ease my pain. Oh, yes, he showed me the way. Join us next week when we explore the tiny island Hörsholm.